one in the world, boys. It's one big love country. I'm here at the Caesar, the Caesar Superdome, and unfortunately, my Atlanta Falcons went down to the New Orleans Saints this week. Offensively, man, we just poor. Like, I just, uh, we all knew that whenever we made the change at quarterback, we knew that it wasn't going to be a situation where it resolved all of the issues. We just needed some throws to be made that haven't been made, right? But I'm really feeling like it's deeper than that. I feel like a lot of it has to do with our coach. Granted, Desmond Ritter missed an a open throw to Drake London. Drake ran a, a in route. No, it looks like he just kind of sit down in the zone and Desmond Ritter just missed it. He threw it to the outside. Uh, if he would have threw it to the outside right, we could have caught it, used that inertia to cut up field. We just needed a field goal. And we could have tied the game. We didn't get it done. So, first of all, I want to show love to the New Orleans Saints fans and the overall city of New Orleans because this is my first away game that I've ever went to. And this experience, this has been one of the greatest experiences ever. So thank you to the city of New Orleans. Y'all got the dub. I know I'm not going to be a salty loser. I already know that, but I'm going to tell y'all, as far as the Atlanta Falcons go, we got some things that we need to fix. Um, the day started off terribly because Dean Peters got hurt before the game even started in the pregame warm -ups. So that, hey, you, you, that can tell you that wasn't a good sign. First quarter, first half, the same. They were running up and down the field, eating us alive. We did get a chance to get back to Andy Dalton a couple of times. Uh, Taysom Hill made the most impactful play of the game, in my opinion. Um, you know, throwing the deep pass. You know, they got, you know, they stretched the field out on us. Uh, Tyler Algier on our side, that was some of the bright spots that we had, Tyler Algier. But I've been telling you something, Desmond Ritter showed a lot of poise, even though we lost this game. And sometimes there were situations where he could have legit got rattled. He still showed some more. But this will be his first NFL start. No, he didn't legit blow, you know, blow the doors off, but he showed some promise. He used his legs when he needed to use his legs and his step plays, and I definitely appreciate that. But on the offensive side, we got a few things that we need to fix. We need to we need to get some more complex route concepts because we're not having open wide receivers. The same, they got guys just running up the field wide open because it's blown, you know, blown coverage. We're not doing that. We're not setting it up where we can have it where, you know, someone can catch it and get yards after the catch. Think about this, guys. We got two pass catchers in the first two rounds of the last two drafts. We need to be able to scheme these guys open. Just because they're in the first round, that don't mean that we can run pedestrian pass route running concept and they just blow the doors off. Shouts out to Drake London, man. Drake London, you don't get down on yourself. Yes, you fumble, but that's how it be sometimes. You showed a lot of heart today. The Falcons showed a lot of heart today. And forever, we rise. You already know what time it is, folks. Look, I got to get back to GA. You already know what time it is. But look, man, you already know. What in the world, folks? We still ready. Big Q, I got to get that shirt from you, folks. What in the world?